Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to talk about how, um, how I thought that I overvalued my, um, um, sort of how important partying was to like my personality in the past. Um, and like with all these things, maybe you disagree. Um, but I think it's worth noting. So I think a lot of people are sort of quite famous for like a lot of rock stars. Um, you know, music, just musicians generally, um, you know, athletes, so certain athletes anyway, um, become very known for, like, the party lifestyles I talk about a lot. Um, <clears throat> the problem with it is um, that I think, uh, I think <clears throat> the problem you fall into is you think that that's an integral part of um, being like who they are you know it's like the party lifestyle that they're associated with so examples to to sort of clarify this is like people like slash you know uh axel Rose, you know guns and roses big cocaine like parties um <clears throat> you know led zeppelin uh you know all these crazy stories you hear about the big rock groups um <clears throat> and then you got people like um uh, I mean, there was that, is it, I think it was Floyd Mayweather, who's sort of very known for going out and partying, he's got that sort of, um, his whole aesthetic. Um, <clears throat> so it's easy to fall into the, um, the, um, the idea that these guys, who are, you know, these famous people who are sort of um, going out and, you know, partying a lot, that's like an integral part of what makes them great, um, you know. Uh, and so, like, going out isn't, you know, sort of overly indulging in a um, hedonistic party lifestyle is like absolutely it's like necessary if you want to be great. Because look at all these people who did it as well, you know, like Floyd Mayweather did it. So um, it must be um, it can't be too bad, you know. <clears throat> but I think the truth is that. Um, you don't really see behind the um, the glass. So for one thing, is like everyone kind of does that shit anyway, you know. Um, and yeah, like if I was on a night out and I met uh, Slash, I'd be fucking gassed, you know. Um, but I wouldn't really be gassed because he's a massive party animal. I'd be gassed because he's an amazing guitar player um and um you know i really look up to his um his style of playing and you know um really cool guy i mean he's got his flaws uh don't get me wrong but that's beside the point so um you know it's not because i think you know it's not because he's like i really look up to his um party lifestyle um you know it's cool but if he didn't have that party, if you didn't have that talent behind it, he'd just be a loser. Because there are hundreds of people who are living the same life as him, you know, or were living the same life as him back in the 90s. Um, uh, you know, doing cocaine all the time, um, going out partying, and they're losers, you know. Uh, <clears throat> not very interesting people to hang out with. So, um, that's an interesting perspective to think about. Um, I suppose the other thing I think that's, but it's not, it's kind of related. I wasn't really going to talk about this, but I think it kind of links in. Is, you know, like I remember. I mean, you know, Floyd Mayweather. Uh, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's Floyd Mayweather. I'm hearing this on a podcast. Is like, he he um, he's all about his image, isn't he, Floyd Mayweather? Uh, you know, like he's a bit of a baller. Uh, he's got, you know. Lots of cars, and um, he's going out partying. You know, going out partying was part of his aesthetic, his, his sort of brand, because um, he's all about you know the image and making money from it. Um, and uh, and then, but then you actually look behind it, and it's like, well, how much was he really drinking? You know, um, and the truth is. Um, probably none at all. It's probably, you know, probably just drinking water. Maybe bought a expensive, you know, those sort of champagne bottles with a little firework. Probably bought that and had a little sip. 
Um, but apparently, he ran home from his nights out a lot of the time. Uh, so it's like, well, something, you know, he can't have been really having the kind of life that we thought he was. And, um, yeah, for a lot of time, I just didn't realise this. I thought when sort of successful um, people were going out partying, I thought, oh, great, you know, um, it's not a waste of time then. Um, but then, yeah, shit like this just kind of makes me think differently about it now. Um, like there's that line, that Dave song where he, it's off his like first EP where he says, uh, I remember listening to it at first and it's like, um, some guys want to go out and party. Um, and I heard that at the time I thought, oh, you know, Dave's a, he's a party animal as well. And, and the next line is like, oh, but I've got different goals to them. I remember hearing that, um, and I was suddenly like, what? Oh, okay. Um, that's a bit surprising. Um, and I remember hearing, um, um, uh, what's he called? Um... Um, Tyson Fury uh, saying like a similar thing he was like and Muhammad Ali as well he's like yeah just the secret to my success is pretty much just not not partying at all uh, that's the only thing that's really separates me is just getting to, getting to bed at nine o'clock um, in the evening and missing out on all that fun waking up at five um, and just having an incredibly painful discipline in life that's not very fun uh, yeah, and it's like, oh, shit, you know. Um, um, that's a bit rough, you know. Um, I thought uh, I thought that was, like, part of it, you know, the whole partying thing. Um, yeah, and I guess it dates back to antiquity as well, you know. I mean, Cicero, who was, like, a big, famous politician right before uh, the fall of the Roman Republic, Republic and the dawn of uh, the Asian emperors, um... He was sort of very famous for, well, not that famous, but, you know, he was sort of very famous for his, you know, um, dinner parties and stuff. You know, he liked a good dinner party. Um, but a lot of this he enjoyed in his old age. Um, and, you know, like, in his 20s, you know, when he was trying to climb up the ladder of office to be the consul of Rome, you know, like, he wasn't doing any of that at all. Um, yeah, it's quite interesting in... Uh, Rome actually they had sort of this idea of otium which was leisure and uh, Cicero when he was um, just starting out it was very like um, very against otium he thought you know not a single time should be devoted to pleasure and look at it now I mean you know he's not very famous outside of Roman politics but a uh, pretty amazing guy so um, yeah I hope, I hope you get one uh, Getting out here. Um, uh, something else I was going to say. Yeah, and the other thing is, so, um, recently since I started going uh, to the gym and stuff, and that's kind of compromised a lot of where I'd otherwise be, part, you know, going out partying and stuff like that. Um, a lot of that stuff, you know, when I describe my day to someone, I think I was saying this in another video. When I describe my day to someone, it actually sounds very boring. It's like, oh yeah. Um, you know, I was, I was talking about this to my dad actually um, in the car. He was, I was like, he was like, okay, what's your morning routine? And I said, I'll get up, um, go to the gym, and go to the library. Um, and then I, maybe I'll see someone in the evening, but. Uh, usually I just come back, eat some foods, get to bed. Um, at the time it was like three o'clock in the morning, um, cause I had quite a bad sleep schedule. Um, but you know, now it's more like mid midnight. Um, but regardless, you know, it's like, then just, you know, try and get to bed so I can wake up, uh, as early as possible. And, you know, I described that and it sounds very boring and, um, you know, pretty shit. It's like, oh wow, you you must be a pretty boring person. Uh, <clears throat> but actually, I think I'm a much more interesting person, uh, and a much more happy, uh, much more, yeah, much more interesting person to begin with, because uh, I'm actually doing something rather than just flying about in the winds. A much more interesting person, um, and I'm also a lot more 
my, my life's a lot more interesting to me and a lot more exciting uh, to me personally, even though I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, which is like that video about um, uh, don't avoid minus routine. It wasn't a very good video, but uh, <clears throat> that's the thing I was driving at. Is that actually, uh, yeah, it's really weird. Life's actually great. Um, even though it looks very boring. Um, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not, not saying be completely uh, monastic. I still see friends, uh, I think it's important, I mean, I've got to do a fat old think about what's the right balance uh, between um, um, you know, how do I toe the line exactly, because um, I've wasted quite a lot of days um, recently just by staying out too late with friends and it's like, it's a difficult thing to get right. Uh, <laughs> But it's amazing how, um, I knew, to go back to my point, uh, <clears throat> compare that to, let's say, a year ago, um, I was just fucking miserable. And it's really weird, it's like, oh, why were you miserable? You know, you're um, going to all these, you know, going, like, to all these clubs, you know, getting pissed all the time, seeing lots of people, um, you know, you weren't working particularly hard, you know, a lot more free time. I mean, um, maybe not, I'm trying to think of a good point, but you know, let, let, let's say for the purpose of this, you know, you, you, know, you won't really, you didn't have so much focus. <coughs> you were just concentrating on uni work. You're just having lots of fun, you know, it wasn't that better. Uh, and it's like, no, it was, I was miserable. I was absolutely miserable, uh, which is really weird. I mean, I think, I mean, I think partying, generally, like, going clubbing, especially, like, do it once a month, or once every two months, or, you know, hell, even once a week, you know, it depends, whatever, if you, but if you do it uh, moderately, it's just so much fun, that one time, and you're like, oh my god, why did I do that every time, they're like, why don't I do that every day, but then you do it every day, and it's like, Oh, it's um. You just and you just don't really enjoy it for some reason. You're like, why am I not enjoying this? You know, uh, I'm literally in a place that's serving me stuff that like serving me this delicious drink. Um, that's cost a lot of money to put in. You know, I've paid like seven quid for this drink. You know, um, it's got lots of sugar. It's you know got lots of um, alcohol in it, which is making me really happy and energetic. You know, I'm um, hanging around with with um, lots of fun people, there's music playing, um, it's really exciting, like what's what's not to like? Um, and it's weird, it just it just stops after a while. Uh, stop finding it enjoyable. Very weird. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe that's a bit off topic, but I think it feeds into the same idea. Um, so, I hope this makes sense. Uh, basically just don't be fooled by the, um, don't get the wrong impression of successful people, um, going out and having a, a fun time. You know, I mean, the other thing is, like, these, a lot, a lot of rock stars, a lot of musicians, you know, um, you know, they become successful and then they devote their life to a lot of pleasure because they kind of made it. Um, and they still got a lot of talent in what they're doing. Um, but the truth is, what's made a lot of these people successful is they've had often a lot of uh, quite traumatic childhood. Uh, you know, it's quite, a, there's no secret that crazy people always have really rough childhoods or, you know, like, there's something there, you know. I mean, interesting going back to Dave, you know. Uh, I've been uh, listening to a lot of his music and like stuff that guys went through, man. It's horrendous, you know. Um, brings tears to your eye. Um, and it's like, oh, no wonder he he became successful at such a young age. And similarly with musicians, it's like you can look at a musician and think, you know, oh, they're just partying, you know, all the time. What what makes them so? Um, you know, that's the whole, you know, go on tour, having a fun time. 
Um, they don't need discipline, you know, what's, uh, maybe I should go and do what they're doing. But the truth is, before they were famous, they probably had a shit life where all they had was music. And, um, <clears throat> you know, they're probably a bit of a weird kid in school and then they got amazing at the guitar or amazing at rapping or whatever it was. Um, and, um, or they were just incredibly disciplined as well and, um, they short circuited it, you know, um, and they're laying their hair down in their, in their successful years. Um, but they didn't just jump straight into the sort of lifestyle that they, that you think they are. You know, when I was, um, trying to, trying to make it in the music industry, I would, I'd be going out a lot, drinking a lot. And I thought, isn't this what a musician does? But the truth is like, no, I haven't, I haven't put the work in. Uh, I need to get home, listen to lots of music and, you know, do my research, um, perfect my skill. Uh, the drinking's got nothing to do with it, you know. Um, I'm not saying you can find, except, I mean, you know, be interested to know if anyone has any exceptions to this rule, but um, I think usually you find something somewhere around it, you know, where it's like, oh, okay, it can be explained that way. Uh, <clears throat> you know, Iman Gadji as well, you know, it's like, oh, I wish I could be a millionaire like him. Uh, it's, I mean, he's my age and he's a millionaire. It's incredible. Well, I've with my life, but on the other hand, it's like, he had a pretty horrific life as well. You know, moved to, um, moved to the UK, uh, with just um, his mother, didn't speak English, uh, very poor, um, and, you know, there's, I think there's a lot behind his success that is, you know, I don't think life's that easy for him now either. I think he's got a lot of problems still, but um, I mean, I really look up to him and he's a great example to people of my age, but you know, it's not an easy road, man. It's not an easy road. Um, so yeah, this makes sense. Just don't be fooled by, uh, don't get the wrong impression.